Hey folks, Simon here with the TP-Link BE230, which I purchased about a fortnight ago, and I've been putting through its paces, and I just wanna share some thoughts with you because this is probably by far and away the most budget Wi-Fi 7 router that I've ever seen. Now, of course, Wi-Fi 7 is a new technology, so I'm sure things will get even cheaper, but to actually have a router that supports Wi-Fi 7 for around 100 bucks, I definitely thought there's gotta be some catch here. And indeed, there is a bit of a proviso because this router, although Wi-Fi 7 enabled, is only a dual band router, not tri-band. That means it is lacking the six gigahertz bandwidth, which a lot of people associate with the higher Wi-Fi, such as Wi-Fi 6E and Wi-Fi 7. However, Wi-Fi 7 is not bandwidth dependent, unlike Wi-Fi 6E, which does require that six gigahertz bandwidth, Wi-Fi 7 is able to operate across all of the bandwidths, including the 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz that the BE230 does actually have. So today I just wanted to show you really that the Wi-Fi 7 here does actually function. I've got my Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra, which has Wi-Fi 7 enabled. So this will actually work with the router. And if I go ahead here and just open up a speed test. Now, of course, I'm situated right next to the router. So this is probably the best result I'm going to get. But let's go ahead and start that test straight away. Yeah, I wouldn't have expected any different. We're getting over a gigabit per second here, download speeds. In fact, I probably would have hoped for a little bit more than that, but it is going up a bit now to 1.4. Do we hit 1.4? Yes, we do. And then let's go ahead and see our upload connection and yeah, also over a gigabit. So clearly this router is doing something right, that's for sure. And we do have these nice large antenna as well. And we are connected to the Wi-Fi 7 network at this time. So yes, both of those speeds were over a gig. And now maybe if I just move the router away a little bit so that the phone and router aren't right next to each other because that can actually degrade the signal just a touch. And if I run the test again and Yep, this time, no issues getting closer to, well, 1800 megabits per second there on the download. So yeah, just a bit of a tip for you that guys, not just with this router, but with any network equipment, when you are running Wi-Fi signals, try not to have them right next to one another, the devices, because that can actually interfere with your connection. And then the upload speed, again, is coming in pretty heavily over a gigabit per second as well. So definitely some improved speeds there just by moving the phone away from the router a few feet. Now, of course, you can position your own network equipment around to find the sweet spot. But because this is Wi-Fi 7, there should be less interference. So if I pop outside, maybe we'll see some different results, of course, because I'm going to be coming through a solid brick wall here. But with all the neighbors interference and stuff with their Wi-Fi signals, it shouldn't be terrible because we are connected to Wi-Fi 7. So let's go and give that a bit of a, a bit of a go as well. So now I'm gonna do another test out here. As you can see, got this big thick wall now blocking the phone to the router. So let's see what sort of effect that has on the score. Obviously it has dropped, but we're still getting a very respectable result there. Download speed still hitting over a gigabit per second, which is really impressive considering I'm outside now. And there's a lot more interference out here. And as I say, we've got that big thick wall as well, interfering with the actual line of sight and upload also. Bit of a drop, but still very, very respectable, I would say. So yeah, not too bad. What do you guys think of that? Folks, I think overall, remember, I just want to put into perspective the price here of the BE230. It's so cheap for Wi-Fi 7 that yes, it's not gonna have all the bells and whistles and if you spend so much more money, then you're probably going to get an even faster connection. But for me, I only have a gigabit internet connection anyway. So the speeds this router's giving me is already faster than the internet I can actually get through it when I connect it up. So I'm absolutely fine with that. Um, but obviously for future proof and stuff, then maybe going for a tri-band with the six gigahertz bandwidth is going to give you a few more years of functionality at those higher speeds. But even so, I think as I say for the price, this dual band Wi-Fi 7 is absolutely up to the challenge and is doing a fine job. I'm really happy with it and I hope this video helps. If you're looking for a Wi-Fi 7 router but don't want to break the bank, then the BE230, definitely a viable option.